solo and focus will be on how to add uh, chords uh, to your single lines. I had uh, quite a few students also uh, subscribers who have asked me about how to improve the phrasing and this lesson is actually a great lesson uh, if you want to improve your phrasing because you have to know where, where exactly you are in the blues uh, in order to change to uh, through a change between solo lines and, and chords. And uh, if you analyze my uh, solo, you, can, you will see that the two first bars, you will have uh, uh, some lines, solo lines with a lot of uh, tension. And then I will go into just play chords, two uh, bars, or I, more likely I would switch between playing descending solo lines uh, without so much tension and uh, chords. The second line is just the same, two first uh, bars with a lot of tension and then again uh, I, I comping on the last two bars or maybe I switch between comping and, and playing a descending uh, solo line uh, without so much tension. And the third line is a, is a little more differ different because here you have all, all tension all, all through the four bars but then again you end with this beautiful uh, outro where you don't have so much tension. So that's basically what, what happens here. The di difficult thing is uh, when you start this is that you have to listen to while you play. I have recorded uh, a very good uh, or I have recorded this uh, backing track where, uh, where, uh, from these uh, solo lines. Uh, or from this blues, I have recorded that where it's just the backing track uh, and uh, when, when you try that out then remember all the time to know uh, you, you have to know where you are so you have to, while you play your lines you have to listen to the rhythm guitar so that you know where you are in the blues and uh, here at, at the end <laughs> Just one small sophisticated detail. Uh, if you listen to my guitar playing, you will see that I always end my, I very often end my lines on the third, on the first beat of the third uh, bar, right? You understand on the first beat of the third bar. So uh, when I go into combing, you have the original idea is like this: one, two, and three. I try that again. One, two, and three, and four. But now the one be 
lead is already occupied from my uh, from my single note line. So I cannot go in, uh, have the one beat and play the single line at one time. So it sound will sound like this: one, two, and three, right? Instead of one. Something that uh, I, I I try to to end my phrase a place where I like it I like it to end and that is on the four beat I like I really like uh, because um, simply because it sounds good. <laughs> 